Hi there, and thank you for joining me. Uh, my name is Adrian, and uh, this is the precursor to the mixing sequence of lectures that I'm going to be doing. And uh, I just want to run through a few terms and uh, concepts before we get started with the actual course. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be discussing mixing. Now, in mixing, we use different terms and different uh, processes. So let's start off with one of the most basic ones, which is an equalizer. All right. So if I load an equalizer onto my audio track over there, I'm just going to load a clip and play it. If I look at this, you will see my equalizer is actually showing me where all the frequencies in this particular loop are quite dominant or where they are um, a little bit less. Okay, so at the bottom here, I've got my frequencies all the way from zero hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. Zero hertz being very low, um, or at least 10 hertz being very low, um, and 20,000 being very high. So that's kind of our spectrum of hearing as a human being. We can hear from low, like bass and kick drums and and rumbles and then you know in this area you'd get your kick drums you know and your kick drums and stuff would would kind of knock your stomach area and your legs you know uh, and then maybe there's your snares would be the next and your toms which would kind of knock into your chest you know uh, physically um, and uh, as we go up more you know you've got your vocals over here which would sit kind of like in your throat and kind of face region um, and then going more right here to even higher frequencies, we'll start to hear things like, you know, cymbals and, uh, you know, higher melodic synthesizers and that sort of thing, pads. And that would be sitting around, you know, your eyes maybe. And then if you've got really high, um, you know, um, sounds that you've you've created, um, you know, maybe equalize them so that, um, you know, like for instance, it would only be like that uh, kind of thing. That would accentuate those sounds, those high Kind of um, sparkly sounds which would actually maybe even sound like they're above your head okay so that is the equalizer um our bottom axis and of course on the left over here this is um decibels um so if i did that i'd be taking out frequencies and if i did this i'd be adding frequencies as in adding adding the um you know the decibel um loudness to it all right, so for instance, if I was playing this house loop and I wanted to get rid of the, the low end, all I needed to do would be this. Of course, that is also, you know, we can actually automate that as well. But usually, you know, if you're mixing, you'd probably do something like that. If you just didn't want, want to take the kick drum out, for example. Okay, and usually you'll get a few bands. This one has actually got eight bands that I can use. So I can actually adjust, take out or add in different frequencies at different points um, of this um, sound. Okay, so that's the equalizer in a bit of a nutshell. Let's go quickly across to our compressor. Okay, so if I go to my audio effects and I go to my compressor, load my compressor what a compressor does is it actually makes soft things louder and loud things softer okay um so we want to increase our ratio usually to make sure that it actually compresses the threshold will also determine at which point the sound will actually compress This yellow stuff over here that's happening over there, it's showing me that the compressor is actually, you know, making it softer. This is your makeup gain, so you can increase or decrease your output level. Okay, so these are actually something called insert effects. So I've inserted the effect along the signal chain of our um, of our um, of our track. So what's actually happening is I've got my loop playing over here. My loop goes through my equalizer into my compressor, then it goes straight out here into my master and into my speakers. That's what's called an insert effect. 
Now, there's also something else called a send effect. As you can see here, you can see the sends A and B. All right, and then you've, if I look over here, you'll see A and B over here as well. So signal A, well, track A is a reverb, and track B, the uh, send track, is delay. So what is actually happening is that I'm sending this signal to another place as well. So this is still going down here and out through these, you know, through these equalizers and compressors then to my main, but it's kind of making a bit of a, um, like a Y uh, intersection. So it's going, one's going down this way, another one is actually splitting off here. If I choose to send an amount of this track over here, then once it gets here, it's gonna go in through our master. So we're actually getting two parts of the same thing. But to make sure we don't have kind of repetition of the same original dry sound, on my reverb unit, you'll see something called dry and wet. Now you need to make sure that the dry and wet, well, wet is set all the way to 100%. A wet signal means that it's the complete affected signal. For ex so for example, if I clap my hands, okay, if I clap my hands, the dry signal is my actual clap of my hand and the wet signal is the sound afterwards so the sound of my hand reflecting um, the clap reflecting in the room so the reverberated sound is my wet signal so in order to make sure that we don't have repetition of the dry signal we need to make sure that we have our reverbs and our delays set to 100 percent wet so that way when i send the signal it's only going to add an affected part of the signal um, to the output. Okay, so for example, let's have a listen. Okay, I'm gonna make that louder. That's only the effective re affected reverb which is being added, whereas this is the dry signal. And if I add it on, there we go. Okay, so today and in, in this uh, mixing course, we'll be discussing a lot about our insert effects. Um, the other one, of course, was delay. So if I add delay to it, so my delay unit again set to 100% wet. Okay, so you can choose how much you actually want to put on. Okay, so that's insert and um, send effects in a nutshell and the simple tools that we will use for our mixing in our uh, mixing course. So thank you very much for that. I hope you do enjoy and benefit from this course. Have a wonderful day.